I have something to tell you. I'm going to take two more minutes. Mm -hmm. Many of us, when we grow up in our Christian life, if you grew up in a Christian family or, a Christian, or in a church, are like, like a child that walked into a toy store and he bought a puzzle and he, he took the puzzle off the shelf and it's covered, it's got plastic on it and it has a beautiful picture on the front and we say, yes, I, I will buy this and I take it and I say, it's mine and I look at the picture and I say, I love this picture and I put it on my shelf. I believe that every one of us um, needs to take off the plastic. Open the box. Turn it over. And when you turn, uh, anyone do a puzzle? You know what? Right, right. I hate doing puzzles. <laughs> As you can see, I am ADD and I can do two pieces before I say, Pfft, I'm going to go do something else. Sometimes I walk by, go like, oh, wait a second, here, and I walk away. Right? <clears throat> but how do you start making a puzzle? You make the frame, right? You make the frame, and, and, but it's all a mess, and, and the picture doesn't make sense. And then with time, you start, it starts, you put the colors in different places, and it starts to, to make sense more. And it's difficult and sometimes it's frustrating, but you have to put those pieces together to get the picture. And this is my challenge for you today. Take your box, turn it over, and deal with the mess. Yeah, yeah. It's it's gonna be it's messy. It's not clear sometimes, but it's okay. And work through growing and understanding what you believe. And I say this all the time to our teenagers. It's not enough to say what I believe, but it's important to understand why do I believe what I believe. Ik zeg het altijd, elke keer weer tegen jongen. Het, is niet, uh, het gaat er niet om om te zeggen dat je gelooft, maar het gaat erom dat je weet waarom geloof ik. Wat is het belangrijk? Why, why do I say these things? Why do they teach this thing? Waarom zeg ik deze dingen en waarom hoor ik deze dingen? The best way to put the puzzle together is to work through the Bible. En de beste manier om deze puzzel te maken is door de Bijbel door te gaan. It's not about what other people told you about the faith. Het, is niet, het gaat niet om wat andere mensen je hebben geloofd. It's about what you discover yourself for yourself in your personal relationship with God. Don't be content with not knowing. Always test and examine and check yourself. Pray that God will give you wisdom to see things that you didn't see before. Because if you leave it all in the box, it stays a religion and not a personal experience. But everybody knows 
that when you start building the, the puzzle, it's so much bigger than the picture on the cover. Right? So it is when you, when you live it and you examine it and you put the pieces together by yourself. Don't be content with answers from other people. Examine, ask the questions, study the Word of God, pray that the Lord will open your eyes and, and give you, enlighten you to, the, to what He is teaching you through the Word. And then live by it. And focus on it.